while we're on the subject of new uh, bits and pieces these ones brought out um, we've got these snag ears which sit just nicely underneath the buzzer push the buzzer through the hole tighten it up um, to the bank stick or the buzzer bar and it just stops your rod being pulled in so uh, check these babies out they're mega cheap as well happy days thanks Seb for sending them mate As you can see, look, the wind's blowing from right to left. They could be anywhere in here. There's so many carp in here. Just got to check them out, find where they're like having it. Or willing to have it. Like I said, all the known zones are basically, well, not all covered. You ain't got enough rods. But they're spread, spread out over the areas where I picked up uh, fish very regular when I'm here in the winter. I bet they start showing big time. Where is it? After dark, hopefully I'll put the night cam on. And in this corner here, it'll be alive. It normally is this time of the year. We'll see what happens later. As you can see, looks like we've got rain coming now. And that's less than 15 minutes since I spoke to you. It's really bright and sunny. Uh, Sort of winds flattening off a little bit as well just blowing through here no signs yet no bleeps everything's still quiet moody is moody next front coming through so like my missus just said to me you couldn't have gone down a big pit anyway because you'd have just messed your leg up getting in and out of that boat or your knee, my knee. so uh, at least I'm fishing got a chance there's a 40 pounder swimming around in here. A common. So, come on in bobbins. Do you know what? I've had these bobbins since I joined Vision. How long ago was that? 20 months ago? I don't know, a long time ago. And like a most, like most uh, chains from other companies, they break. And I'll tell you straight, these haven't. Oh, what phone's going, got to leg it. Hello mate, how you doing? Right, it's amazing how weather you can change that quick. Was it about five, six hours later? Um, we had a southeasterly um, and easterly, loads of rain. Winter's definitely here. Um, I've only seen one carp, been really slow. Not sure what's going to happen. Um, now I'm waving it out, could be like night bites. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd still, still like to sit here hardcore um, under a brolly for the night. So, yeah, the vision one sort of like you can get right under it anyway. So, there you go, no line, hardcore under the night. Just with a brolly. Anyway, you've got a vision sleeping bag, one of the best out there anyway. Love them, mega warm. Even got my missus to sort my new pillow out, pink. <laughs> Good old girl. Just before I sort of set the house up for the night, I wanted to leave it sort of like as late as possible. Um, it's about here. I see some fish. Fizzing right here, quite close. Um, remembered over years ago, uh, I used to like catch them around here, casting from like way down the left. And this all used to be private swims, and then cast up the lake down the side of the overhanging trees. So uh, I've got one on there now, just a long hair on the bottom bait with a bag. Put a few dumbbells around it as well. It was a dumbbell hook bait. Sorry about that, the old battery was dying then. So it's just, see where that white line is there? Right, just round there to about here. Yeah, it's getting quite close to dark now. Um, 
from past experience as well, uh, I'm expecting them to be up about 60, 70 yards to my right into a far corner. I'm actually going to go round there like, later on and just uh, check it out. And I'll try with the old uh, night film and see if I can pick it up. Been partying hard over the weekend because uh, me and the missus had a few days together. So um, went out with a couple of mates and that and uh, nice seafood restaurant. Stayed in a hotel and that and uh, got uh, smashed. Uh, anyway, you got to let your hair down a few times, didn't you? Or what, every once in a while. So, uh, back on the bank. Uh, missing the big lake. Uh, don't know really why, to be honest. Should have been out there this week with the new moon and the low pressures was coming, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, I don't know if I had a liner or a bird go through the line a little while ago. Had a series of bleeps. Um, I was just up at the van getting some bits. But nothing else happened, so nothing to worry about. Starting to rain again. It's a funny old time of the year this is. It's like, you can still see them about and that, but I don't know whether to be up or down. It's just like the water's chilling off now. It's, uh, they know it's time to get, like, it's going to get really cold and get sorted. It's, it's just like getting the times right and, you know, the areas. Uh, the hardest part I've found is um, it's keeping the bait going in, and then once you keep the bait going in, they, you know, like they don't switch off as such. Um, you can hear the rain now; it's not starting to fall. Um, what I mean is, like, you know, over over like let's say a week, you got a bloke putting a kilo in, a bloke put, might be fishing it all week, putting ten kilos in, another might fish it with bags. You know, so what I'm saying to you is bait going around the lake, then all of a sudden there's no one here. So what they do is they like revert to natural feeding areas and you just got to keep the boilies going out. Or if you want to do it on the cheap, you haven't got the money, you know, particles, sweet corn, tigers even work. Um, hemp, party blend, etc, etc. I've even had big fish fishing over a mixture of that and um, halibut pellets. So at the end of the day, you know, there's always a, a, a way in and a way out, and there's a way to like get through everything. But the most important thing is just keep baiting up, baiting up, baiting up, and then when they like sort themselves out, they keep seeing bait. They know where it is, and uh, you just got to get the zones right. Little lakes, what I call little lakes, uh, sort of um, got a hell of a population in them. You ain't gonna be far away, are you? So there's always something about. But I fished this for like oh, 28 years or whatever, so you know, I know it like intimately. There's nothing in here I haven't caught, but I just love being here. It saves all that travelling. You know, when the weather's right, yeah, I'll fly down to like the Big Pit or Mayfields or Dinton or wherever, you know. But when you're doing 400 mile round trips every week, it does take it out of you, and that's like over. Like from what, let's say, Jesus, March time, end of February, right up until like October time. So you're clocking a lot of miles up and uh, a lot of traffic. So it's nice when I can just like, oh, I don't want to be here now. I'm going to go home. It's only 19 mile. So that's happy days as well. So I am keep baiting it up and I give the old boys the bait as well. And they're baiting up for me. So that's good. Um keep the, uh, the bait trickling in. I bet they're going to show to the right though, further out. Just know it. I've got three rods now on dark side rigs. <laughs> oh dear, eh? only one left on a chod. Um, it'll all kick in. I'm just sort of like laying the, the baits down a bit in the silt. I've got a bad presentation so that's all protected and I've got like the presentation sides. I know it ain't tangled. I know it ain't like caught up on something on the bottom of the bag. So, I don't know what rod's going to go, to be quite honest. I wouldn't be surprised if the, the left hand close in goes. It's a, it's a nutty little area. It, I don't often get here this time of the year, but when I have been here, like October, or I had the odd night, um, flicking it down from the left and then coming up, um, sorry, fishing it down to the left and then flicking up to the right. Uh, it's, it's done a lot of fish. 
think I just had a little knock on the left hand rod. Yeah, I did. That normally goes in the early hours, that one, if it goes. So, hopefully I'll be able to show you some, sort of what I look for in the night, where the ripples are coming from and all the rest of it. So, see what happens by the morning. Hopefully I might have a chunk for you to show. So, over and out for now.